Hey, I'm Nadine Piet from Healthy You, Healthy Love, and I'm a coach for smart, savvy women looking for sexy, united love. And in today's video, I'll be talking about how to find out if a man is treating you like an option when you really want to be a priority. Now, before we continue, please be sure to subscribe, click that bell button to get notified of my next video, and be sure to comment below and tell me a little bit about you and your relationship situation. Also, please share this video with at least one friend in need of some support when it comes to feeling and being a priority with a man. So let's get right into it. Here are six signs that he's just not prioritizing you. Number one, he's a taker. He's pretty much only present whenever he needs something from you. This could mean that any sort of attention and affection he gives you is primarily motivated by his needs alone, not by what you might also need. There is no we, no collective care and consideration. If you feel like he's taking more than he's giving this relationship, then this could be a major sign that you aren't being prioritized and in fact being taken advantage of. Number two, you're grabbing for attention. Do you feel as though you have to put in extra effort to get him to take any notice? Or perhaps you've found yourself in these kind of situations. You're on a date with a guy, but he seems to be more interested in what's on his phone than what you have to say. Or you send him a nice heartfelt message only to get a one word response or worse, ignored altogether. If you feel like you have to fight to get an ounce of his attention or that you're at his beck and call, then this is a very clear sign that he's not prioritizing you and perhaps you're not prioritizing yourself as you've started to chase a man and perhaps you've started to lose your sense of self, your dignity, your honor. Number three, his ears do not receive you. He doesn't really listen or seem to care about what you have to say. Conversations with him start to feel very one-sided and he doesn't allow you to at least get your point across and be heard. Or perhaps he listens to you or seems to, though the things that matter to you are rarely, if ever, taken on board and properly addressed. This shows that he doesn't really value or respect what you have to say or value and respect his own word. Men who are fully, wholeheartedly committed Committed to a relationship will want to hear what you have to say as you will want to hear what he has to say so that you can both work out a solution that supports both of your needs and the needs and values of the relationship. Being fully heard and seen is a true gift and only partnership-minded couples are able to do this in a way that allows for deeper intimacy and understanding. So he's not fully open to receive you and your feelings and perhaps you're not on the same page. In addition to this, there are also people who say things that can create barriers to intimacy. That's why I created a free gift to help you with communicating in a way that supports all forms of romantic love. It's called Word Poison. I share 16 words and phrases that can destroy attraction and understanding. If you tend to get frustrated and find yourself uncertain how to communicate your needs with your man or anyone really, then this will certainly help. I think you'll find it incredibly useful and you can find the link in the description right below. Number four, he's a closed book. While some people may have a hard time opening up in general, if it begins to feel like he's hiding something from you, then it may be a cause for concern. This could mean that he's unwilling to fully emotionally invest himself in you and your relationship. Of course, this is very different from having your respective privacy. Both you and your partner have the right to your own privacy and to discern what you do and don't share. But if he seems reserved from revealing anything about his personal life, his feelings for you, or work life, it may feel like he's just dipping his toe in the water rather than taking a dive. Of course, this may have nothing to do with you. He may simply be a man who doesn't open up to anyone he cares about. His fear of intimacy overrides his deeper and most honest desire for intimacy, which is still an issue that sees you feeling emotionally rejected. Number five, he's not cheering you on. Your man doesn't need to get involved in all of your interests and hobbies. And yet, does he support you? Does he root for your success? Does he root for you to feed your soul in different ways? If he doesn't take time to appreciate you and your passions and doesn't see the value in the things that you enjoy doing that feel really good to you or that light up your heart, then he probably fully doesn't value you in a partnership kind of way. 
to be in a strong and healthy relationship, we need to also have a strong and healthy relationship with all aspects of ourselves. Otherwise, we run the risk of losing our sense of self in a relationship, which not only affects our own inner joy, it starts to impact the relationship. If he's not able to support you to be your best self, then perhaps it's time to move on and attract someone who's willing to learn about you and cherish the things that you're all about. Of course, you need to do the same for him. Number six, no quality time. If he doesn't set aside some quality time for you, then this is a sign that he's not prioritizing you. Sure, you may be seeing quite the busy person, whether that's in his job, his family, friends, or other things he likes to do. And yet, if you're not hearing from him for days at a time, or plan calls or meetups are cut short, it may simply mean that he doesn't have time to pursue a relationship at all. While he doesn't have to dedicate every single day of the week to you or have to be in each other's lives all the time, this especially applies to those in long distance relationships. If he doesn't make the effort to provide you with the quality time you deserve, it may be time to reconsider the relationship. If your man checks all of these boxes or a number of them, then unfortunately you might just be an option in his eyes. But worry not, I have something powerful to support you. You see, there was a time in my life when I was attracted to the wrong types of men for me. I would get hooked to something about them that would stop me from seeing what was really going on. Once I healed this, everything changed with how I dated and related to men and most importantly with myself. And that's when I created my program, Never Lose Him. In this program, I teach you how to truly know your worth and unhook yourself from going nowhere relationships so that you can attract the right kind of man for you. Because once you know your value, that you're valuable and deserving of true commitment, and once you understand that just because one guy fails to see how important you are, it doesn't mean that no one else ever will. You deserve so much more. And trust me when I say there will always be someone who's willing to make you their priority, someone who's willing to listen to you, make time for you, and share aspects of their lives with you in order to really meet you at a deeper level. And this is definitely a person who's worth waiting for. Now, of course, before you go, and if you haven't yet, please click the subscribe button and click that bell button to get notified of my next hot topic. Also, we all need some loving support from time to time. Relationships aren't always easy to navigate. So let's work together collectively to create big, sexy love. Why not take a moment to share this video with a friend? All you need to do is click on the share link below this video, or you can copy it and text it to a friend who needs the courage to learn how to be a priority with a man and I'm starting to hang out on Instagram and invest a little bit more time there so please share this video as a story also tag me at Nadine Piat this will support others you can also share on Facebook well that's it for today's video thank you for being here with me I value you and I look forward to seeing you again at my next video